I'm here at the edge of the interior lobby. This marks where they would collect the tickets. We have a few of these throughout the building. This is the ticket taker stand. And when I first found this device, I wasn't sure what I was looking at. A very large and very cool wheel with two grinders in here. I spin it around to see it better. Movie theater tickets were a valuable commodity. And during the 1930s, people would try to pocket them. This allowed that not to happen. As you, you the ticket taker, took the tickets, you dropped them in here, and this device was mounted in a stand much like this one, but not this one itself, where you would turn the wheel and the tickets would be ground up into nothing so that they could not be used again. This post has been here probably since 1908. The edge of the marble floor ends with this metal plate and this wood floor begins. This wood floor had been carpeted in the 1920s and 30s, but revealing the original wood, let us understand that this was standing room only. The archways, there are three of them, were open to the main auditorium and probably had curtains coming down halfway. It was in the 1929 renovation of the building, the largest renovation the building had ever seen before. In 1929, they filled in these archways, carpeted this floor, and changed it into the movie theater that many people know. This concession counter is not the original one. There was no concession counter in 1908. The first concession counter probably went in in 1929. We have portions of that concession counter, and those will be on display at the Fox West Theater Museum. This concession counter was brought in in 1948. It is of etched stainless steel design. It's an incredible work of art. A theater executive in California tried to sell these to theater chains nationwide, and Fox West Coast bought them from many of their theaters. This fluorescent bar here is matched by one over there. The first concession counter was here in the 1920s. This one was installed in 1948. When Sally and Marie Savoy purchased the Fox West in 1959, they already operated two other theaters and the drive-in theater here in Trinidad, Colorado. I've heard many people tell me that Sally and Marie would make the popcorn elsewhere and bring it here to the Fox West Theater. These bins were full of candy. I believe popcorn was here. This, this is a cotton candy machine. The Fox West Theater had had many different soda fountains, this, is being, the most, this being the most modern. This is a great example of, we have lots and lots of empty syrup jugs. There's a few tools around the snack bar, too. One of them, this scoop, probably for popcorn. This scoop, probably for butter. And this, a homemade apparatus with a piece of carpet. It didn't take me long to figure out what it was for. The sign behind the snack bar is probably from the 1970s. And I'm glad to say it still works. This candy display had a padlock on the bottom of it because a valuable, valuable commodity was stored in here. Before I open it, on this side are a number of different directions about how to keep your concession counter running from your cell mix drink machine to your Scotsman ice machine, to your popcorn warmer, ice cream cabinet, butter mat, candy case, 
and general cleaning instructions. All of these have service records to them, and they all roughly end in January 1959. What was this for? There's more instructions here. Snack bar attendant instructions. One, greet each patron with a smile and ask, do you care for anything? Two, there will be no visitors while on duty. Three, do not leave snack bar unless it is absolutely necessary. Four, always keep your voice in a low tone. Five, there will be no eating or gum chewing on duty. Six, let no one reach over the counter for merchandise. Seven, keep snack bar clean at all times. Eight, be quick while waiting on patrons and thank each patron as you wait on them. Nine, your job as a snack bar attendant is to sell merchandise. So sell, dot, 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 sell, dot, 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 sell, dot, dot, dot. There's a whole nother list of instructions here. These might have been written by a different manager in a different decade. Customers are annoyed by loud noises and talking. That was number one. Two. Take care of snack bar customers as soon as they walk up to a counter as it is very annoying to wait. Speed is very important as the snack bar attendant. Three, do not permit anyone to loiter around snack bar or carry on unnecessary conversation. Four, only one snack bar attendant is to stay in the snack bar. The others will serve as ushers and go in to help snack two kids. Snack bar attendant when there is an intermission or when they are busy. This way, the person that is the cashier last is fully responsible for a snack bar. Never leave snack bar unattended. Five, do not under any circumstances refill cups for anyone and be sure that each extra squirt of butter is 15 cents and extra syrup on snow cone is 15 cents a squirt. All cups are inventory. So if a patron asks for an empty cup, tell them you have to pay 20 cents for a small, 40 cents for medium, 60 cents for large. Wouldn't they rather have a drink and then get water in the cup? Six, upon closing, you may help each other close. Seven, always check restroom paper at opening and then at closing. Eight, keep candy case clean and orderly at all times. Nine, empty big can in dumpster twice weekly at bottom. Sweep snack bar, wash machines, and empty waste basket before leaving at night. Eleven, also sweep lobby and clean ashtrays before leaving unless there is a boy at the door, he will do it. Twelve, try not to make any mistakes as the inventory will be off, then I get heck and have to give you heck. Sell, sell, sell. Give change slow, so no mistake is made. Don't miss our New Year's Eve gala show. There's so much technology here at the Fox West Theater. The building was built as electrified, which means we have some original electrical fixtures and light fixtures from 1908. One of my personal favorites is right over my head. This is from probably the 1920s or 1930s. And it's got these frosted glass panels to them. There are five in each fixture. I find them just awesome. 